as far as I am concerned, I just like painting like the streets. Like go like you know you find like a good roof that everyone's gonna see. You do something up there, everyone sees it for like you know a few weeks. And unless it doesn't even get buffed, then it's just like it's there and everyone reads your name. You know. I mean, all of my friends and like you know like close like acquaintances, everyone I know knows about what I do and. They tell me like all the time, they're like, dude, I saw that thing you did on Central Lab, that shit's crazy. Or like, hey, I was driving to work and I saw that thing on I-90 that you did and it's like really funny. Or like people are like, oh, I've been wa I was walking to a party the other night and I saw your name everywhere on that block, you know what I mean? Like, It's often said too that like I know even people said they could distinguish a Brooklyn writer from a Harlem writer just from like the way their arrows would go and stuff right. and subtle differences. And even now, like usually we think graffiti, we think it's like spray can art, you know? And, um, but a lot of the early graffiti too was also just markers. You know, and that's why there's still, uh, the city passed an ordinance banning the sale of paint and markers to minors. That's why a lot of places, it's still in effect. That's why a lot of markers and paints locked up in places because stealing the paint became part of the culture. And part of it was if they were of a certain age, they couldn't buy it anymore. Everybody around here complains about how like, you know, you need to get it like from behind glass, but like I know where they don't keep the, the cases locked and I, I mean, I don't have enough money to be buying that shit.